All right, uh, I have a Hewlett Packard 34702A multimeter with a 34740A display unit. So um, this was a whole family of instruments that HP made. Uh, there were counters and there were DVMs, and then there was a, a unit you could add, it was a battery. Um, I don't know if there were any other units of that. There might have been other things, but I, I'm just familiar with the DVMs and the counters. I actually have a counter that I keep in my office that's, uh, that's one of these. Now, the uh, 7740 is a four and a half digit display. The 750 is a five and a half digit display. Um, and they're interchangeable. You can put the 50 on here whether it can benefit from it or not. The reason that you want more display units sometimes is with the counters. It gives you more more counters, but there's 40s and 50s. And the way that these are is that they're clamshells, okay? And so uh, in the back, if you never opened one of these up, there are two tabs. You pull these two tabs out, these plastic tabs. They just, they pull out and the unit splits in half, okay? So let me zoom out. Uh, so it splits in half. Um, and this is the display unit. It's all by itself. You could put this on a counter module. Like I said, you put it on a different, any kind of a module. So these are interchangeable. Just the display unit. And then this is just the measurement unit. All right. And uh, yeah, they're very interesting. And then to remove uh, things, uh, let's see, which one do we want to remove first? Let's take a look at this one first. Um, some of them have screws that you need to make, be aware of, and some of them don't. So this one does not, but there's this two little plastic tabs right here, and two plastic tabs right here. They're like little things. And you, what you do is you flip those while you kind of lift up on the circuit board and flip those, and then the whole thing will release. It'll just come out. <laughs> okay, and this is cast. This is cast aluminum, and this is the display of uh, the uh, measurement unit. So let's flip it over. Take a look at it. So very nice gold boards. It says don't touch anything because of leakage and stuff. They're they're quite good instruments. Um, now. I'm not as familiar with this unit as I am with a different one. They had a higher performance unit um, that was auto ranging. This one is manual ranging. They had an auto ranging one. And I had one of those uh, on my bench, I think, when I first started at Hewlett Packard. And I really, really liked it, um, but it broke. And uh, so uh, instead of throwing it in the trash can, I took it home. But it had a, uh, a ceramic hybrid. Uh, chip that you could not find replacements for and instead of having all of these manual switches here there's a big gang gang of switches it had diode switching or FET switching I should say it had FETs that did all the switching and that big ceramic hybrid had all of those um, all it was was a big analog switch basically uh, a, a real fancy analog switch and I built a little PC board with my own FETs and I replaced that hybrid. I think I got it working if I don't remember right, um, but it was a pain, <laughs> a real, real pain. Anyway, so this is the measurement unit. Um, looks very nice. It looks like it hasn't been touched inside. So we will, we will put it back together. I just flip it upside down, put it in, and these little, uh, things will snap and there you go so that's all the rest of that okay this is the display unit now the display unit has a thing here that says remove screw to disassemble this is one really long screw that goes here and it screws it into the uh, into the top unit because the, this 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 is the part that also is the power supply this has the AC connector on it. So this is both the power supply and the display unit. But since the power supply is so heavy, they have one screw here to hold it down and not rely on these little plastic doohickeys. Uh, so let's, let's flip the four little, four little tabs. And this should come out. All right. Okay. Um, this little front bezel is very very uh, 
fragile. It's the red bezel for the LEDs to go on, and these always break, always, always, always. And so you see this little tab that sits here, it's for a screw, and this little tab is broken off, okay? Um, and so I'm gonna have to epoxy this one, epoxy this one back, and uh, luckily it's still with the unit and uh, epoxy will be fine. Put it back together, so I will do that off camera. All right, so uh, this is the power supply, like I said, with the pass transistor. And here is the display unit, beauty. Um, more power supply filtering and stuff. And over here you can see a whole bunch of uh, uh, standoffs with Teflon inserts and stuff. So this is a nice little board right here. So um, this does the voltage to display conversion. And let's see, is there any date codes on here? Uh, 4551, hmm. uh, 11, 13, hmm. I don't know, might be, I don't know, I can't tell. I think these were made in the 70s, maybe the 80s, I don't remember. The display is super cool in it though. It's a dot matrix LED. Uh, we'll try to take a better picture of that later when I have it running. It's all discrete LEDs all bonded together in there and then an extra one in the front there for the plus and minus. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Here's a, a custom HP part to drive the LED with gold, gold le leads on the, on the actual uh, uh, IC itself. This also looks like a custom Custom chip here, ceramic with all gold. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. All right, well, it does seem to work. The only problem I see with this unit right now is the on off switch doesn't always engage all the way. Um, so I looked at repairing it. There's a little spring in there and I tried to uh, modify the spring to make it work better. And it's just real flaky. Uh, sometimes it'll hold and sometimes it won't. But uh, I'm, in, uh, I'm inputting uh, 5.638, 5.632. Um, I haven't calibrated it yet, uh, so that looks to be pretty good. Let's go down here to let's go down here to one volt. Um, let's see. 1.0475, 1.04. Yeah, so it's a little bit out of cal. Let's put it on the one volt range. There we go, one point. So it's a four and a half digit meter, nice. Zero four six, I'm at zero four seven five. Yeah, it's a, a millivolt out. Let's go ahead and try the ohms. Now the, this is an interesting meter. The ohms is a separate input. Um, don't use this input, you use the other input. So here's a, here's a resistor. It says uh, 0.05, this is a 50 ohm resistor, so it's times 1K. Okay, so it's 0.05K. Put it on the 100 ohms range. And it's measuring, there we go, 50.07 50 ohm. So very, very nice. Um, yeah, so I think this thing is probably working fine and just needs a little bit of calibration. And I don't know how to fix the switch, so I think I'm going to leave that to somebody else or recommend they just glue it down and then just use the power cord to turn it on and off. But it is it's a nice meter. I really like the displays in these things. The displays look, uh, displays look really nice on them.